think it's time to celebrate Sade's birthday. Yay! Yeah! Okay. So fun with your cupcakes. Sade, why don't you give out your cupcakes? We'll come around and pour the juice. Take the girl birthday punches out of school and we're going to get them. Yo, yes, I won. Two words, you know the problem. What? My name is Khalid, and my birthday is on November 25th, 1992. My name is Miguel Alvarado. I was born on April 7th, 1991. I'm Mark Rodriguez, and I was born on June 29th. My name is Carol, and I was born in March... 6th? <laughs> Hi, I'm Evan Miles, and I was born on December 27, 1964. Hey, Steven, what's your problem? It's not fair. Everybody gets to enjoy their birthday except me. I don't get it. How can you not love your birthday? I mean, cake, presents, parties. Birthdays rock. Oh, yeah? Well, I'll never be able to enjoy my birthday again. Why? Because it was taken away from me. It was ruined. What do you mean? What do I mean? My birthday's on September 11th. My name is Jamel. My birthday is September 11th. My name is Kaelin, and my birthday is September 11th. My name is Daniel Diaz. I was born on September 11th, 1993. Daniel, you know, um, that's interesting. You just said the, the date of your birthday, September 11th. How was your birthday this past year, in the year 2001? Sad. It was sad. Why? Tell us. Tragic. Tragic. I felt sad because that day was my mom's birthday. Was it? Oh. And no one, like, really celebrated it. You started off the day, September 11th, looking forward to what? What will happen when, on my birthday? And I didn't know that the terrorists were going to knock down the World Trade Center. Of course not. How would you feel if your birthday was on September 11th? Right now, I would feel that my birthday had just been ruined. I could never celebrate my birthday ever again because the people that died on my birthday, I feel like, like I feel like crying. Well, for this tragedy to happen on their birthday, I'd say it'd be really um, heartbreaking for them. That's what that. you do with twins. Oh, yeah. So what's yeah. the deal with this carpet house anyway? Hi. You never knew about this. Are you gonna? I heard you walk and slept there. I know. I'm not. My grandma told me there was some sort of secret tunnel down there. Are we there yet? So what is this conference all about anyway? Some sort of colonial tea party? I'm really going. I like whips. Oh, we there yet. After this, we realized that we're not in a perfect world and Absolutely. that things can go wrong just around the corner. Mm -hmm. You think the day's going to be fine, and it turns out a tragedy. I remember we were in school, and everyone was just being taken out of school. And it was so weird because some of us started to think we were being abducted by aliens. Well, I was in, in school, and I heard that there was an election. And I didn't know that the Twin Towers was bombed. So then my mom told me, and, and I was kind of getting teary-eyed. 
How did you How did you feel at the moment that you saw what actually happened? Well, I felt scared and sad because I know a lot of people died from that accident that happened, and um, I felt sad because those people were just doing their just doing their job up on on a high floor and. All of a sudden, a plane comes crashing through a window, and they're dead. <laughs> the conference house was built in 1680. Before it was the conference house, it was the Bella House. The peace conference that the house was named after took place in 1776. Benjamin Franklin, John Adams, and Edward Rutledge came here to meet Admiral Lord Howe. Blah, 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 blah. Where did you come from? Yesterday. <laughs> what do you mean? Who are you? I'll tell you yesterday. <laughs> what do you mean you told me yesterday? How about telling me now? I can tell you now, I can only tell you yesterday. Now's my sister. You'll be meeting her later. You might even be visiting tomorrow. Right, and who's on first? Okay, well, I'm getting a little weirded out by this conversation. So, do you want something or what? No, but I think I can lead you to something that you might want. Follow me. Whatever. But where are we going? Back. You see, Stephen, sometimes in life, you have to take a step back in order to move forward. Come on, let's go places. Please understand, Admiral Lord Howe. There is absolutely no way that America is prepared to give up our freedoms outlined in the Declaration of Independence. Dr. Franklin, the King of England, is prepared to pardon those responsible for this declaration. After all, we do have great respect for your ability and influence on the people in the colonies. It is only if we work together that we can bring about peace between the colonies and Great Britain. Certainly, gentlemen, we must all consider ourselves British. With all due respect, your lordship, I'll be willing to consider myself anything you please, anything that is except the British subject. Excuse me, Mr. John Adams, but did you come here to negotiate for peace or to insult the crown? Most of the colonists still remain loyal to King George III. Are you not supposed to be representing the people? We the people! have already chosen our path. We have established ourselves to be a free and united nation. America has come into its own. Mr. Rutledge, if the colonies will not give up their independence, then there is nothing more to discuss. This declaration of yours has changed everything. If only we had met before it was signed. I'm sorry that you have come so far, and there is so little to be accomplished. Admiral, you offer us peace at the expense of our freedom. That is a compromise America is not willing to make. Gentlemen, please understand. I feel for America as I feel for a brother. If America should fall, it would be like losing that brother. <laughs> My lord, set your mind to rest. We will see to it that you are spared such a fate. Yeah! You tell him, Ben! That was so cool! Like, history come alive, man. So now, will you tell me where or rather when we are? Follow me, Curious Cat.
No way! You mean that Heath's conference happened on my birthday? Sure did! The very same one that gave this house its name. And it all happened on your birthday, 1776, September 11th.